Welcome to When People Play. My name is Barry, and today we are introducing the Red Solo Cup, or a blue one, to help you with a fun, high-energy activity, and potentially a metaphor, to open up your conference. But first, on to the intro. Welcome back to When People Play. Yes, today's episode is bringing back the Red Solo Cup. And today's activity is a fun, high energy activity. And the simple premise is to see who can get the most cups up or the most cups down. Thus the name, Cups and Down. Yes, in today's activity, I'm going to use the example of a red and a blue team. Now, I'm going to ask everybody that's going to be on the red team. All their cups have to be facing up with the open side up. Everybody that's on the blue team, all their cups have to be turned down with the open side down. It's quite simple. When I say go, everybody's going to rush into the middle and all the red teams is going to turn their cups up and all the blue teams is going to turn their cups down. Now, after 30 seconds, whoever has the most cups turned to their particular orientation that was assigned is the winner of that round. Uh, I will usually have multiple rounds to see about the multiple points. The question is going to be asked if cups get knocked over on their sides, what happens? Well, during the activity, you just turn them uh, uh, back to their orientation. Uh, also, if somebody else has turned yours over, you have the right to turn it back. So it can go back and forth, back and forth as quickly as possible. Now, it is a very simple game. It is a quick, high activity game and see if there's a possible way to uh, come up with a plan. Now, the other thing is about guarding. Uh, you can't clump cups together and guard them. Once you turn it over, you have to leave and go to another cup and turn it over, but you're not allowed to guard. You have to allow somebody else to turn that cup over. So with that said, let's watch the activity in action. On your mark, get set, go. You got 45 seconds. last clip that you just saw, I want to give a big shout out to Spring Creek Church who allowed me to come out and do a train the trainer with all their youth directors. That's the reason why you saw them running around. Now for large groups in a large space area, yes, use the floor. Absolutely. And the next clip that you'll see, I was doing a training for a group of people, but this time I used the tables. Now uh, for adults in smaller groups, I do like to make it a tabletop version. Um, also, before a training, it's a great fun activity to get everybody up and moving. But even before the activity, I say before we do today's conference, before we do today's training, what do you want to get out of the training? If you could fill up your cup with knowledge, what would it be? And I would actually have them write a few things down about uh, what would fill up their cup. But even before that, I would also ask, uh, what do you want to prevent and what do you want to trap? If I could actually take a cup and trap the things that's going to keep me from learning great things today. What, what are those things that we want to trap and get rid of? And so I would open up the training that way, but then going into the activity. So here's what that activity looks like on tabletops. So purple up, red down. <laughs> I'm hearing snorting over there. Ten seconds. Stop. <laughs> oh, I'm over towards you. Yeah, they have to. <laughs> and stop. Ooh. 
cheater. All right, if you got if you got one in your hand, lay it sideways. Thanks for visiting When People Play. If you enjoyed this week's activity and you wish to receive the full write-up with variations, then be sure to click the link down below in the comments. Also, if you wish to receive additional uh, notifications in regards to our activities or facilitator tips as we publish on a weekly basis, then be sure to click here to subscribe. Also, a big shout out to Group Dynamics to allow us to do these videos. If you want to know more about Group Dynamics and what they offer within their programs in their facility, then be sure to click here for their channel. And also be sure to click here for last week's video. Again, thanks for visiting When People Play. And until next time, we'll see you later.